What is up guys, J Rock Freak here and welcome back to a Taku Puppy Podcast. Um sorry about the lighting. I didn't set my ring light up, so it may be a little dark on the video. Sorry about that. But um yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to another bark. Not sure which episode of Bark this is, so I will not say a number. The number will be in the in the title, but I won't say a number. Um Um, but yeah, so hope everybody's doing well, back with another video. Um, today's topic, um, because I wanted to do a topic video, I hadn't done one in a while. Um, I promise was using everything I'm coming back as well, just sort of getting everything sorted out. Work, I'm working on being more organized in 2021, with podcasts, with everything else I'm doing, keep everything organized. Um, uh, but yeah, so the discussion, um, for this episode will be... Discord conventions, and then I want to talk about um, something I did in December was the um, my anime list, my anime list secret Santa um, swap thing, which was a lot of fun. Um, so let's get into the secret Santa thing first. Um, normally every year or for the last few years, I've done the secret Santa um, swap for um, Reverse Days podcast. They do one every year or they have been doing one every year and I've I've been I did theirs twice I believe. Um it's a lot of fun. Um I don't celebrate Christmas per se. So um my Christmas usually consists of me just watching basketball and so I was like, well, this is something fun and anime, anime related that I can do. So that's also a lot of fun. So I started doing it and then I started doing the twelve days of anime as well, which sort of added on to that. Um this year I was like, well okay why don't I add something else and let's do, I saw my anime list had a secret sound thing they were doing. And I was like, okay, I'll give that a try and see how it goes. Um, and it was actually um, a lot of fun. A little bit harder because it was kind of hard to rec what animes to recommend, what anime to recommend to somebody. I had to kind of dig through their list of multiple, multiple animes and kind of decide like, okay, let's see, maybe they'll like this. Um, but anyway, I got recommended the anime Shingo Fumi. Um, I never heard this anime. It came out, I believe, 2006, I believe or so. Um, never heard of it. Apparently, the person who recommended me the anime basically said that the show fell criminally under the radar. Um, not many people have ever watched it. It's a very, like, obscure show. Um, so I was like, okay, fine, that's perfect for me, I'll definitely give it a watch. Um, and I'm about done with it, only 12 episodes, but I've been watching everything this season I'm on with it. So I'm about middle ways of it, and it's really, really good. Um, the semi-plot is basically about, um, a Shingo Fumi is a letter from the dead. And when somebody dies, they're able to write a letter and send it to... The one person they want to deliver a letter to, and it's called the Shingo Fumi. Um, so just say you may, your friend may die, but because I'm a best friend, your friend sends you a letter saying, "Don't mourn me," or you know, it's okay, this happened because of blah blah, or something like that. Um, and the letter can be about anything. There are some letters that explain the crime. There are some that you know people are telling people, "Don't you know it's okay? Don't worry." Some where people are not so friendly with the other person. It just depends on the person. Um, and each episode, we go through the process of seeing different letters being delivered and sort of what happens with them. Um, the first couple stories are really good. Um, there's one that's really, really sad. Two that are really, really sad. Um, one is about um, a guy... He, um, he kills himself, and then there's one where, um, a guy was, um, bullied to death. Um, both of those were very, very tough watches. The bully one was really tough to watch just because of the way it played out. It could have gone a lot better if other people had made better choices. That's all I'm going to say in case you do watch it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was really good. And then we started to get into the, because there's this girl who delivers the letters. Um... 
and we get to see her backstory and find out why she is where she is, what's going on, and all that kind of stuff. Her whole upbringing, basically. Um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's Shingo Fumi, S-H-I-G-O Fumi, F-U-M-I. It's really, really good show. It's definitely underrated. I don't doubt that at all. I had never heard of it until now. Um, so yeah, that was a fun experience. We'll probably do that again this year. Um, it, I liked it a lot. So now onto the main discussion, which is Discord conventions. Um, of course, with everything going on right now, um, there are no in-person conventions. Um, everything, um, luckily I'm able to go to one convention last year. I went to Session Cullen, which was in February, before everything was, you know, closed down, essentially. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Did that, and then after that, everything else was done. So, um, I've recently gotten into kind of like overseas idol stuff or whatnot. Got to kind of dabbling in that. Notice that they were doing like Twitch showcases or whatnot. So that was a thing. Okay, fine. Then, somewhere in between finding out about those, I found like these random Discord conventions. And I was like, well, how do you hold a convention over Discord? Granted, they also use, like, YouTube and Twitch to, like, collaborate with Discord. But I was like, okay, how, how is this working? How, I, I didn't know that you could even play video live streams through Discord. Didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was just, like, chat texting or whatnot. Um, I, I do use it occasionally, but I thought that's all it was. So, anyway, started to find these conventions um, that are doing Discord conventions. And there's quite a few of them. Um, and I attended probably two or three um just in the past month i did one back early early january and there's one coming from february for the game con which um i actually got a vendor spot for so that should be interesting to see how that goes i'm excited to be a vendor though so that's pretty awesome but it got me thinking are discord conventions going to be the new thing even once conventions come back um and the reason i say that is because in between time um, here in Georgia, I know we have, anime-wise, we have three major conventions. I don't count Dragon Con because Dragon Con isn't an anime convention, um, per se. But we have Session Con, Momo Con, which I think isn't strictly animated now. Either it, I mean, I still consider it an anime convention, but I think it's like all-purpose now or whatnot. But Session Con, Momo Con, Anime Weekend Atlanta, those are the major three. But in between time, there are no other conventions. And I think most places are like that. Most places have conventions kind of scattered out between blocks of months. Like a couple, a month here, two or three months gone by, another one. Later on in the year, another one. I think that's how most of them are. So, I was like, okay, are Discord conventions going to become the new thing? One, you can do it from home. Two, they're free. Three, they're cheaper to put on because all you have to do is just get guests to volunteer and you're basically streaming from your home, which is amazing. Um, and so I was like, is that going to be a new trend? And I think it will be. Like I said, I've attended about two or three. I enjoyed them. I thought they were very well done, very well put on. Um, and so, yeah, I think it'll be a new thing. Just like I believe that conventions will start offering a at-home option. Um, once conventions start back and uh, because the thing is Sometimes you want to attend a convention, but you don't even have the money to go You can't travel to where it is or sometimes you're just tired and you just don't Have the energy to spend a weekend at a color sometimes you want to just be at home and just relax And I think that Discord conventions are perfect for that because you get that same kind of experience from home It's like uh, I could go to this convention, but I can also go to this one. It's right here on my phone. Open up Discord, and bam, there it is. It's that simple. Um, and it's a lot more interactive social-wise as far as, like, online because you're able to chat with people right away and talk right away. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be a new trend. I enjoy it. I think it, of course, can be tweaked and be done better. Um... I also went to a convention that was on Twitch, um, which was, it was a Discord convention, but it was like Discord Twitch convention. Um, it was more AI based, which I'm not a huge fan of. It wasn't bad, but I didn't love it. 
Um, but the ones that are strictly Discord that I've been to seem to live stream well, incorporate everything well, and it's flowed pretty well so far. So I recommend it. Um, if you haven't done any, just go to Instagram. The best way to do it is go to Instagram, look up Discord Convention, and you'll find them all there. Um, I think as people are rolling back out into public events, I think Discord conventions offer a decent substitute to people who either aren't ready to go back out to those huge ones yet, or two, people who, like I said, who just can't, for, some, for whatever reason, go to those conventions. Um, and, and it also helps fill in the gap of no conventions. If there's no conventions for like another two or three months in between the ones you went to, maybe you're, you know, you're at home that weekend, why not go to a Discord convention? It's, it's at home, it's free, throw it on for a couple of days, check it out, and you're good to go. And it helps pass the time along as like filling in that con hiatus. It's right there, and I, I enjoy it. So yeah, um, the next one I know about is the Florida Game Convention coming up on Discord. So check them out on Instagram if you are curious about how it's going to be run, how it's going to go. Check it out. I will be a vendor there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this bark. Um, just wanted to hit that subject for a minute. Thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whichever works you find me. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about Discord conventions and will they be continue to be a, a trend. Um, and yeah, until next time, follow me on Instagram at Taco Podcast. And yeah, until next time, my whole out.